सर जुगल किशोर डॉक्टर चंद्र त्रिपाठी माई फ्रेंड शिवलाल डॉक्टर ब्रह्म प्रकाश सुनील कुमार कोच डॉक्टर रणबीर पाल एंड मेनी अदर्स एंड ऑल दोज एंथुजियास्ट वे कम हियर शोइंग एंड एक्सप्रेसिंग देयर इंटरेस्ट इन द ऑक्यूपेशनल हेल्थ पर्टिकुलरली वेन डॉक्टर जुगल किशोर सजेस्टेड दैट दैट वी शुड हैव अ परस्पेक्टिव ऑफ द एडोलेसेंस पुट इन दिस कॉन्टेक्स्ट I was very happy to to respond to him, saying that this is the right platform where the things could be looked at from the eyes of the adolescents. Because I represent in front of you the Indian Association for Adolescent Health, uh, which stands for the as an uh, advocate in this country for the adolescent right. Uh, the theme is also very appropriate. That says that it's time for action. uh i would like to use this platform for putting bit for you to only two important points that is emanated from my experience as well as from our analysis of our role performance vis a vis the organization that i represent <coughs> while i was working in a, a place called ballabgarh in faridabad district uh, while uh, uh, with with indians uh, while with ems ems or uh, right in front of the crhs or the uh, rural health complex there was a uh, factory of uh, hyderabad asbestos uh, it used mm -hmm. to produce this asbestos sheet those days that was way back in early uh, 70s 1970s uh, and one of the thing the person that uh, excited <laughs> he was a my friend uh, dr p k shishodia who has done a specialized course uh, now occupational health was working there as a uh, medical officer uh the industry had very organized occupational health thing. uh a doctor a dispensary diagnostic setup and a screening program for the workers but the screening program everything was aimed at early detection so that they can be packed up to go home and without informing them without warning them that they are they are destined to suffer something which is incurable and is likely to lead to death uh, mostly uh this was this is very very unethical but this is very organized if it's a formal way that you organize a formally the uh unethical uh, uh, responses and um, and institutionalize it in a mechanism that is uh, 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 i mean that is put up to the workers as something that uh, they are doing it as a great welfare activity it's itself is a crime what to talk about it but then why do you really take a case of an informal sector or an unorganized sector uh, while well, uh, when i was looking at dr shivlal's data way back in 80s right uh, when he, when you were heading the aids control organization uh, he was a pioneer in uh, uh, aids control program right from its inception uh, which subsequently took the shape of a narco at uh, that time we were looking at the impact economic impact of aids epidemic in india and uh, trying to see it and when if you look at the data far more in details one could see that uh, it is it is the young population which is suffering most and it's the most productive population uh, and it it is the most segment significant section or sector of the uh, of the population and thus it impacted on the productivity and thus the economy of the country uh, but we will look at it for the details that is the similar population far more in unorganized sector is impacting much more economically that means it makes a good sense that if you care for the at least providing some basic occupational health to the younger population which is far more spread out all over the nook and corner of this country and millions and millions of them in a unorganized and informal sector then it makes a very good economic sense if anybody is concerned with the economy then it's not a way of demonetization or 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 taxing you in repeatedly in the banking sector but it's this is the way this is the proper human route to impact and improve the economy of this country or uh, india is really severely severely linked in it terms of its welfare and well being when you look at the far more the occupational health of the younger adult 
this is a this is a very case supported not only by the statistics of this country but also by the very fact that the leadership role is in the family and that assertiveness that newer newer emerging india is actually represented by this uh, age group in such a case uh, what the best that we can do is not uh, there's a similar example that i can suggest to you that uh, when we are working in west delhi on a out of the school children for their education services uh, under the platform indian association for adolescent health uh, along with the some educational institution the 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 major hurdle was was the ill health of those people it's not that now this whole scheme of delhi government and supported by the ministry of uh, human resources development uh, it was it was geared up in such a way that it could suit the people who are engaged in some kind of an occupation and thus not going to the school uh, but then they were quite grown up ones they were uh, they were migrants they were homeless in such kind of situation you the vulnerability was already there and when when you try to say provide the basic education services it was almost impossible to reach out because their ill health and unprotectedness in their occupational uh, occupation itself deprived them of the basic education rights and deprived them of all the benefits of the all the welfare scheme that it may i mean i'm just giving the example of the education one but then there's a similar is a case with the nutrition programs so friends this is the root cause that if we not care and, and for them uh, particularly when it's uh, acceptance of this uh, basic health services would would be far better it will immediately show results and it will show it many many more so i thought that i would make a case or to, uh, present this case to you uh, i would also like to commit on uh, our resolve that in our organized way bringing these expenses will we are very very happy to be associated with it because uh, thanks for your association that uh, it this issue comes on the agenda of indian association of adolescent health and we'll be grateful for all that and in in and in return we would like to express our commitment that we would mobilize and organize all the resources at our uh, for this thank you so much for giving me this opportunity